I'm Aki Thun, welcome back to Let's Play Osiris New Dawn. Here we are on our lovely multi-layered habitat. Uh, the new expansion feature, the custom more modular than ever before structures. Um, what are we doing today? Well, we do have to fill in the walls on top of that thing. But I was thinking um, what I might like to do, first of all, is go and build us our first like, little outpost. Because we've got uh, Geyser Hill over there, where we've got three different kinds of vapour. But it's 300 metres away. We don't want to go 300 metres every time we want to collect some gas. So, uh, we could build an outpost over there where we can process like all the gases we, we might need into whatever sort of products we want. And we can just collect and store a bunch of gas over there. So for that, we're going to need a depository. I'd like to get a chemistry table over there as well, but I don't think I've got that unlocked yet. Um, I have not, and I bet I don't have the skills for it. I bet it's somewhere way up, like some, down some other path of the science tree. Let's see. Uh, it's not actually. It's only 10 science points, and it branches off from the printer. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure the chemistry table also needs power. So we're going to need another solar panel. Unfortunately, we did get a solar panel kit off one of the uh, one of the satellites we found. So if we build a depository, we build a forge. Maybe we build no, one depository should be enough. Uh, build a solar panel, build a chemistry table, and we can have a little outpost over there where we can collect some gas. We could even have a when we unlock it, we can have a, a gas tank over there if there's a flat enough bit of land. What's that floating in midair over there? What is that? Let's go have a look. Oh no, it's not floating, it's just uh, land that wasn't being rendered. It's just a... Uh, well, it's not space debris, but it's uh, it's some something spacey. So that's the plan, I think. Um, now, in terms of the base, as Steve K pointed out, we are going to have issues placing the fabricator. Because the fabricator actually goes smack bang in the middle of a habitat. In other words, it would go here where the elevator is. So we obviously can't have it on this floor. We also can't have it upstairs because the elevator pokes through the middle. So to place our fabricator, when we get it, we're going to need to extend like, another habitat off the side. Unless there is... No, it has to be in a habitat. Okay. So we do need some science points, uh, which, is, which means uh, we need to grind some gas, basically. Uh, we're alright for liquids at the moment. So let's put everything back and then take out what we need. I would say another chisel probably wouldn't go amiss. We are very, very close to wearing ours out. Uh, we have got the conduit bender, but we don't want to waste that unless we have to. It's pretty good. Got, what is this? Patch tape and patch tape. Oh, I can save the slot right there. Got all this cloth. Okay, well, never mind. That'll do. Uh, actually, is this cloth really heavy? Something's weighing me down pretty severely. I've got 77 kilos, and I've not even filled up four rows of the the thing. Maybe it is the cloth. How much does it weigh overall? 10.75 kilos. Yeah, we should leave that behind. There it is. Look, the uh, small solar panel kit. That'll do for what we need up there. We've got some hydrogen in the barrels already. Actually, we've got plenty of barrels. Um, anyway. Alright. A depository. First thing. We're going to need... It's under... Inflatable domes. Is it? Or is it under radar dishes? It's under radar dishes. Uh, we're going to need iron... And... Aluminium. Uh, if we want a small solar panel, we just need the kit. That's fine. We're going to want a forge over there, which is, I believe, under inflatable domes. No, nope, it's under sol um, radar dishes again. Where is it? More iron, uh, titanium and plutonium. Do we have plutonium refined? We do not. So let's take that with us. Do we have any titanium refined? Again, we don't. That's surprising. I didn't think I'd used... Oh, here we are. Titanium. Got loads of it. Uh, a chem station. 
which is going to require some steel as well as the glass we're already carrying and we're overburdened already and that should be it the only other thing is we want to make another chisel so let's take the copper with us because I'm pretty sure copper was involved in making chisels so whatever that is oh engineering point nice uh, what are we missing here magnesium One chisel. In fact, let's make. Uh, no, we can't make two chisels. We're out of copper. But we should have all the other bits we need. Oh, we need to refine some plutonium as well, of course. And since we're weighed down like a mistreated donkey anyway, we might as well take the barrels with us. 137% encumbrance. That's not bad, actually. I'm glad I put some investment into strength points. Right, here we are. Geyser Hill. So we've got oxygen there. There's some nitrogen. Where's the hydrogen? That's the most important one, I think. It's down there. Actually, this hilltop is probably fine. This is a decent spot right next to the beacon here. So let's start laying things down. Uh, first of all, let's get that... S did I bring the... I didn't bring the fucking solar panel kit with me. Okay, well, let's build everything else and then we'll go back for it. So, radar dishes, depository. And radar dishes, forge. There's two science points right off, actually. We, we're going to get that chemistry table. No trouble. Uh, right. So that's the forge, the depository. Let's actually go and grind some gas right now. We could get that tenth science point and build the chemistry table before we go back for the solar panel. Fair dehydration detected. Oh, shit. Uh, did I just destroy one of my containers? No, it's over there. Glass container with tree sap, thank god. Hydration levels are now satisfied. Uh, two barrels might be enough. There we are. Let's unlock ourselves the chemistry table. Does that unlock the one that's indoors as well? Actually, does that unlock only the one that's indoors? Have I unlocked the wrong one? Shit. Wait, is there an outdoor... Oh, is it? Yeah, a chem station. And it's just some steel and glass, so we're fine with that. Might as well have it... where can it go? Anywhere it can go, really, doesn't matter. Oh, almost had it then. Come on. I saw it go green then for a second. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, nope, yep, yeah, nope, maybe. Oh, yep, yeah. okay, it wants to go over there. Fine, it can go over there. And, yep, yeah, it requires power. So let's drop the barrels off and run home and get the solar panel kit. Uh, what else? Oh, there's two more barrels here, actually. That should be fine. Yep, we're un-overburdened now. It's a very short run back to here. Didn't even have to use a whole bar of stamina. Right, where's that kit? 
Here we are. Small solar panel kit. Lots of Ow! Fuck. System restored. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I have to see if we can actually build a road between the base and Geyser Hill or something like that with the uh, like custom parts. I'm not sure what the limitations are on them or if there are any limitations. Right, solar panels. They also come under radar dishes, I believe. And they are. So here we can do rubble, we can do plastic, we can do hydrazine for vehicle fuel eventually. Uh, good stuff. We can also make... Oh yeah, we can make soil for the biodome with sand and human waste. Human waste we're actually not collecting yet. For some reason the, the space suit we were given doesn't have a human waste collector, which sort of raises the question of where it's all going. Um, there doesn't seem to be any, any ports or anything for it to egress through. It would smell lovely in there. Uh, now, if we're going to be going for a lot of plastic, which I believe we are, we're going to need to establish a good source of carbon. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to alt-tab out and I'm going to look up where carbon is these days. Well, apparently it's minus 3.4. Long 3 is uh, is the one I'm going to try and get to. Which is uh, it's 20 degrees away. Uh, before we go, I should take a beacon there so I don't have to keep remembering those coordinates. I think that's the one that we actually found in uh, in season two. Can I still can I make beacon kits in the forge? I've forgotten. Uh, does it? Oh, I've got I have one beacon left over. Okay, that's good. We don't have to make another beacon. Right. Uh, do we have food with us? We have a little bit of food. I wonder if I should get some... No, you know what? We'll be fine. We've got two two meat stews. We've got a bunch of uh, space apples and space berries and stuff. Uh, and we've got two jars of tree sap. We should be fine. So we're going about 20 degrees in this direction. Actually, uh, before I go though, let me drop all this shit off. We can bring more carbon back with us. We'll just store it here for now. Famous last words. I'm going to end up not knowing where any of this stuff is. And we should bring the dome with us. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, maybe we don't need to. We've got the space debris. Yeah, we've got the space debris. We'll just build a debris shelter out there somewhere. Uh, anything else we should leave behind? Glass, probably. And skeleopod sacks, which I'm carrying around for some reason. Okay, uh, now we can go. Might as well refill the jars on the way. Put the conduit bender out, just in case. Oh, hello. Here is some carbon. This is not the field I was going to. But there are two rocks here. There are three rocks here, in fact. Well, this was a pretty straight run, to be honest. So I'll drop a beacon here, and this can be our carbon source. Carbon. Uh, so this is uh, about a kilometre out from Geyser Hill, not very far at all. It's minus nine lat, minus four long. It's only just nightfall.
Any of the random crap I can pick up while I'm around here. We've got rocks. There's a... A snubs. So it's a snubs field, which is not great. Uh, there's iron over there, base metals, rocks. This will be another good base site. There's another triple geyser deposit. There's base metals. Nah, that's about it. Just the three rocks of carbon. That's the most exciting thing in the area. Well, uh, we might as well head back home. Scullypod doesn't even care. He's just going about his business. Let's leave him to it. Oh, there's a crab monster though. So, of course, the reason we want the carbon is mostly for making plastic, but there are other uses for it as well. So we do have to remember not to uh, melt it all down into ingots instantly because um, making plastic, as you probably saw, uses carbon ingots. But there are other uses for it which require unprocessed carbon, I do believe. I can't remember what they are, but I'm sure we'd be very sad if we, uh, if we reached that point and we didn't have any. Is there anything interesting at the bottom of this lake? There's base metals down here. There's coral branches. There's lead. Where there's lead, there's quite often carbon. That doesn't seem to be the case around here, though. It's just lead. What the fuck was that? Oh, it was arachnid spit. Okay, uh, that means it's time to go. We could probably take an arachnid, but I don't see any real reason to take the risk at the moment. Right, so, we've got barrels, we've got our gas outpost. Uh, I'll store the carbon here. We're mostly going to be using it to make plastic with, at least initially. Uh, what are we doing next? This was all in aid of uh, making the pistols, wasn't it? Did we unlock the heat pistol or the reactor pistol yet? I think we need to go back to the... Can we even make them in the 3D printer? I'm not sure. Let's go back to the 3D printer. Uh, we'll see if we can make the upgraded pistols or not. If not, we should probably keep uh, doing a bit more work on the habitat. Uh, so we can make laser cells... No, we can't make the advanced pistols here, just the normal one. If we've even unlocked them. Ah, here's where we make the beacon kits. We can make landmines, but I've, I've never been a fan of landmines in any of these games, really. You play them, they place them down once and they blow something up, and then you have to place another one down. For one steel, one plastic, one circuit board, one magnesium. Which is. It's, Cheap-ish, but those are some relatively complex materials to be like blowing on a one-shot landmine. What do we use for cloth? That's weird. So there's a there's a slot for cloth bundles in the printer, um, but there's no ingredients. Maybe it's a secret. 
Uh, right. Um, yeah, let's get some stuff in here. So we're going to want a, another habitat coming off of this habitat where we can put the fabricator. Uh, we'll bring it off this way so that it can draw power off the solar panel. So let's have a look at what we need. I reckon this floor, uh, because we've got plenty of space for furniture down here anyway, plus we're going to be building an additional habitat, we're not going to need all the furniture space. So what we'll probably do is um, windows and couplers. So it'd be like a coupler, well, do we even need a coupler here? Yeah, probably. I don't think we're going to go any higher, we're just going to keep this one as a two-story habitat. Uh, so we'll have a skylight. Then, where's the, where's the printer? Nope. Printer and the solar panel are over there. But it's going to have to come off at a bit of an angle because we're going to need actually room to place it down. So let's see if we can do it here. Uh, we're going to want... A, oh, God damn it! we need um, copper and rubber for this, don't we? Oh, not copper, just rubber. Just rubber. Yeah, so if we run it off here, let's say. So a couple here. We're gonna need, we are gonna need copper to make the windows though, I think. We should try getting a maybe a hallway on there as well. Have we unlocked hallways yet? I feel like we have. They'll be over in engineering somewhere. Yep, yeah, hallways. Uh, right, where is hallways going to be? Hallway requires... oh, it requires plastic. Well, that was convenient. Just so happens... We've invested the time to uh, to get the materials to make some plastic. So hydrogen and carbon. No, carbon ingots. Okay, we do need to process some of this carbon then. There's some carbon, which we should be able to combine with some hydrogen to make a bit of plastic. That'll make our hallway, then we'll make another habitat, and we'll have space to put the fabricator, even though we haven't unlocked the fabricator yet.
And this may not even work. I've got no idea what the rules for construction are, but it's going to be good to try. So we get a hallway, whack it on there. Then stick another habitat on the end, for which we are going to need steel and copper. Well, we know we've got to go and mine some copper, so let's go hunt down those precious nodes. That's base, and the precious over there. the fuck was that? It was you, wasn't it? Don't you go running off. I want a word with you. Don't do it again. I feel like we actually didn't get a lot of copper there. No, we got ten lumps. Guess we should carry on for a little bit. Am I close to... I'm, oh, I've actually got some more stat points right here. Okay, well, we're going to be doing a lot of mining in the near future, so let's pump up the strength. This is... I mean, these are base metal nodes. Where am I going? Now we can try tagging the habitat on here. And this should be well within the power radius of that small solar panel, which is the reason why I wanted to come this way. Uh, so, inflatable domes. No, it's still missing something. Steel. Actually missing lots of steel. Okay. There we are. Lots of steel. Oh. Now we should be able to do it. There we are. Majestic. Who the hell knows how this is going to look? hope it's got legs on it. Uh, no, it doesn't have legs on it. Well, that's, that's actually pretty glorious. I'm kind of glad there's no structural integrity or anything like that in the game. It's uh, We'll just say it's held up by magic space power. I don't know. We'll, probably, we'll build something beneath it when we get the custom parts, just so it doesn't look quite so silly. Um, I could have built... Oh, well, there's no point building up a story habitat, is there? Because then it would have uh, had a lift in the middle and that would have defeated the purpose. Well, anyway. We've got a place to build our fabricator now. So, I guess the rest of it is just... Um, just filling in walls. Oh, I've got to call the lift back down again. So we've got to fill in all these panels. Uh, these can all just be windows, I suppose. We're not going to build any extensions off here, I don't think. And we can replace them anyway if we do. You can tear walls down and put different kinds of walls in. Uh, we've got all these panels to fill in. We've got all those panels to fill in. We've got a lot of work to do on this place now to actually get it uh, airtight and operational. So uh, these are going to be windows. So that's going to be a lot of iron, a lot of copper. see tons of iron tons of copper and uh, tons of glass tons of aluminium over here is going to be tons of iron tons of aluminium over here I guess we're gonna have more no um should we build windows in there we'll build windows in here probably just normal walls in there we're gonna want uh, we're gonna want some places to put storage 
Now this could this would be actually a really good crate room if we're going to build the fabricator in here, and maybe like one chemistry table. Anyway though, uh, that sounds like a really good thing to start with next time, because that's a lot of work. So, for now, that's been Let's Play Osiris New Dawn, and I've been Eki Thump. Do hope you've enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more gameplay of this game. Plenty more to come. We haven't even dipped into vehicles yet, and we've still got to all the custom parts to look at and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that, and I will see you next time.